Hi, I want to show you how to use the job cost function in GP manufacturing. It's really a good way to kind of tie everything together. If you have sales orders, manufacturing orders, inventory transactions and purchase orders, you can link them all together and get a, a view of your project or your job by revenue and by cost. So let's take a look at it. The first thing to do is set up a job. So go to the manufacturing area and go to cards and here's job maintenance. So we'll create a new job. Let's just call it job cost. And there's different statuses, but the status I'm going to use today is released. So this allows me the most flexibility in linking transactions from other parts of GP into this particular job. So let's leave that. And if you want to, you can put estimated start date, estimated end date. These can all show up in reporting if you want to. And let's just put in a job revenue here of $35,000 and put in some estimates of say $23,000. That gives us a gross profit of $12,000 and this is the start of our project. The next thing I might want to do is create a sales order to recognize a sale and also to put on that my down payment and I might have different phases on that. So I've created a sales order here to a client and I can mark it and assign it to a job just by right clicking on a particular line item, select the job to which I want this item to be attached. And I can do that for each line item. I can also go to link to and it'll link it every line item to that particular job. So in this case I picked job cost. It's going to link all those items to the job cost. So now I have a sales order that is associated with a particular job. So let's save that. And now there's different types of transactions that I can actually create and put into this particular job. So for example, I might want to go into manufacturing and have a work order or a manufacturing order applied to that particular job. So I'm going to create one quick here. I'm just going to create a manufacturing order for this particular item here. So I'm just going to create it there and then I can right click on the MO number and choose the job to which I want this particular manufacturing order linked. So I'll do that and then I'm just going to release this manufacturing order here. Let me schedule it quickly. So I'm just going to release this manufacturing order. It'll become part of my job and I'll fulfill this manufacturing order a little later. So the other types of transactions that I might want to put on here is I could put inventory into that job as well. So I might take, go to the inventory area page here and do a transaction. And what I'm going to do is take some inventory out of inventory and put it into my job. So I'm going to do that here. I'll take some items out, maybe just a few. And I'm going to assign it to that particular job. Assign it to that job. I right click on the line item select job and then I'm going to post this. So I can easily take inventory transactions, take them out of inventory and assign them to a job if I want to. I can also select purchase orders. So let's create a new purchase order here. I'm going to create a new purchase order. Pick the vendor. And let's look up an item here. Here's an item I'll select and I'm going to buy 20 of these. Then likewise I can right click on this line item and assign it to this particular job. So I'm going to save that, come back later and receive that. Alright, now let's go back and look, take a look at our job here. If I go to manufacturing, open up the job right here. From here I can do some reporting and some inquiry to see how this job is doing. So what I want to do is I can go up to the drop down menu here and take a look at the job link maintenance window. Here I've got all the transactions that have been recorded against this particular job. I can open them up individually. You can see this is the transaction here. It was the inventory transaction. I've got the manufacturing order here as well. And here's the manufacturing order as it actually went through production. So it went through production. I had some overhead elements in here, some inventory elements going in there as raw materials. And those are all indicated here in separate transactions, but they're all linked to this particular job. We also had that one purchase order, remember that, the purchase orders here, and then finally I had the sales order right here. That's all linked to this particular job. Now I might go back and do some additional processing on these particular transactions. 
So let's take a look at the sales order. On that sales order, I had three elements. I had the down payment, phase one, and phase two. And if I open up the down payment here, this one is ready to invoice. So I'm just going to go ahead and invoice. The other two items are in back order, so they won't invoice at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sales order and I'm going to transfer it to an invoice. It's going to pick up that down payment. So let's create that now. And here's the invoice for that down payment. So once I've created the invoice, I want to take that out of the batch. I'm going to post it. So I clear the batch ID, and then I'm just going to post that transaction. So that will now show up as revenue on my job cost. And the other thing I might want to do is let's take a look at that purchase order. I originally assigned it to the job. Let's go back and receive that. Take a look at that purchase order here and I'm just going to receive that entire amount in here and invoice it at the same time. Let's post that. Here, let's take a look at that job. Open that up. And I can run reports right from this job window. Let's go to the reports button here and I set up this collection of job cost reports for this particular job. And the one I want to run here is, let's just take a look at the job elements. And I'll run that. And here I've got a listing of all the elements that are part of that particular job. And you can see it's recording my actual revenue as I bill that out to the customer. It's also keeping track of the expenses in my gross profit. And you can see here a detailed list of those items. So I've got the manufacturing order going in. I've got the history of that manufacturing order. I've got the inventory transactions and the final sales history right here. So these are all the transactions that are going in to build up my job costs. And here's another report that can be helpful. This will allow me to take a look at those job transactions, just another view of them. It's a little more condensed than the other one, but again, it's summing up the revenue and expenses, calculating the gross profit, and showing me all these transactions that have been posted to this particular job. This gives you a quick view of how the job maintenance program within GP Manufacturing can be used to link together all different types of transactions in GP to give you a consolidated summary of that particular job.